foot lead is the best waterproofing for your zinc balcony. Here I'm cutting 15 pounds of 10 centimeters of lead to size. Lead should not be made longer than one meter because of expansion. Here I'm applying lead. First, I'm setting up a flood barrier against the raging water. Then I'm setting it back three centimeters so that it is deep enough in the joint. But you'll see that shortly. I had to work hard because I needed 19 meters because I have to renovate three balconies. It was raining quite a bit outside. So we were able to do this nicely while it was raining. And look, there you go. And then the real work had to begin. Here I'm grinding the joint just below the brick with my diamond disc. I'm doing this deftly and subtly because I don't want to demolish my bricks. Then I sharpen it again at the bottom of the joint. This ensures that the joint comes out very easily. I wanted my foot lead to be as deep in as possible, so I use my entire diamond wheel. I always try to keep the dust under control, hence why my vacuum cleaner is always nearby. But I must admit, it has become really dusty. To ensure optimal bonding, all seams should be completely dust free. Here I'm using my vacuum cleaner, which also has a blowing function. Now it's time to get to the fun part. I'm now starting to cover the lead. I ensure a 10 centimeter overlap for waterproofing. Right now I am carefully tapping the lead with a chisel. I use a clearing hammer and a narrow chisel because it's light. If you're hammering all day, trust me, it will give you a dead arm. But if you're tough, you can use your fist and a larger chisel. I use stainless steel lead clamps to securely fix the lead. I use three per meter. Here I ensure that I have 10 centimeters of overlap again. And I use the stainless steel clamp to firmly secure both overlaps. In between, I use my knocks of vinegar wood to tap the lead nicely into shape. That's correct, that's correct. Let's continue from there. No, that's not correct, because a real lead pipe is not made of vinegar wood. Just keep going, the weather will be nice eventually. Here, I am working on waterproofing the corners. I first bent the lower part and tapped it neatly. Then I made the top part. Next, I cut out a nice circle to leave my signature. And then I tried to tap it very neatly. Here I am rinsing the joints clean to achieve optimal adhesion. I used Canta Clara joint mortar because it keeps the workflow at pace. Don't make it too wet, but nice and firm. My wife would say it looks like couscous. Here, I am filling up the joints. I make sure to press really hard to get most of the air out because that's how you get a great joint that becomes rock hard. After a delicious cup of coffee, my grout had hardened nicely and then I could clean it neatly with the cloth and remove the excess sand columns. I wanted to leave my work tidy, so I cleaned the lead well with a sponge. And here's a tip. Do you want your grout to be rock hard and super strong? Then wet it a little with the nozzle of your plant sprayer. And look guys, didn't this turn out nicely? I'm really proud of my work. It's great, and the customer is super happy. And this zinc balcony can last for the next 30 years. Let us know if you love it too, or if you don't like it at all.